Well, Boeing has apologized for communications released to US Congress and the FAA that called designers of the 737 MAX, quote, clowns supervised by monkeys. The statements were made in instant messages released as part of an investigation into two deadly crashes involving the aircraft. Well, Boeing says the comments are unacceptable and don't reflect the plane's integrity. Well, Matthew Driscoll is an editor of Asian Aviation. He joins us on Skype from Singapore. Matthew, very warm welcome to the program. This is deeply embarrassing, isn't it, at a real time of crisis for Boeing? Uh, that's the understatement of the year. I would say hugely embarrassing, and it's also dangerous. It's, it's dangerous, obviously, for Boeing itself, but for the people that the pilots, the test pilots, the, the people that were involved in sending these emails, it's dangerous because if they are proven, if it's proven that they actually lied to a federal official, someone from the Federal Aviation Administration, for example, if it's proven that they lied to them, that's a felony. They could go to prison for that. Secondly, and this is a bit theoretical, but I was raised by lawyers. My mother was a lawyer. My brother, my eldest brother was a lawyer. If in the process of committing a felony, somebody dies, then theoretically you could be charged with murder for that. So if prosecutors could tie everything together and say, this person lied and because of that lie, the plane was approved, et cetera, et cetera, theoretically you could have 346 counts of murder on there. Now that that's a bit of a stretch, admittedly, and, and I don't mean to, to blow everything out of proportion, I'm just trying to demonstrate how serious this is, because if you lie to a federal official in the United States, that's a felony and someone could go to someone could go to prison for that. And Matthew, considering that this message came from an employee, does it raise yet more questions about the 737 MAX? Well, it's not just the 737 MAX as well. It's the 777X, it's the 787. There have been all kinds of complaints, insider complaints, filed by Boeing employees, that there is sloppiness on the production line, that, that Boeing is putting profit over people or, or profit over safety. And, and any kind of, you know, part of the problem is it's this constant drip, drip, drip of bad information that keeps coming out. And, and it just seems that, that Boeing is digging the hole deeper about it. Uh, and it raises a lot of questions. I mean, for me personally, I fly a lot uh, and, and I have concerns about getting on a Boeing plane now. And I think, uh, Matthew, there would be certain members of the flying public who would agree with you in that. I wonder how this complicates Boeing's relationship further with the FAA. And in the future, could we see repercussions as far as Boeing perhaps having to, to separate the different parts of its operation? That's, a, that's an excellent question. The, it, they've had trouble with the FAA and before Dennis Mullenberg, the former CEO, before he was fired or resigned uh, from Boeing, uh, he was having problems because he was trying to pressure the FAA into approving uh, the MAX to come back into the air. Uh, I read a column, if you'd asked me that question before, I would say, no, there's no way they're gonna separate the businesses. Boeing, however, has a huge, it's probably one of the largest, if not the largest, defense contractors in the world. Uh, and if you'd asked me that three months ago, I would have said, no, it's not possible. But I read a very interesting column the other day where they talked about just that, that thing of separating the defense business and, and splitting off the commercial airline business. And, and make no mistake, the commercial airline business will still be around for a long time. There are thousands of Boeing planes flying they're going to need to be serviced. Uh, they're, they're, they, will, they have a lot of life in them. So Boeing planes aren't going to go anywhere. So that business is still viable. But as it stands right now, it is going to be a drag on Boeing's earnings uh, for a long time to come. Matthew Driscoll there, editor of Asian Aviation, joining us from Singapore. Matthew, thank you. Thank you.